Downdrift is a book about the transformation of animal species under pressure of ecological change. Kangaroos are boxing in the suburban streets of Australia. Urban foxes make eye contact with drivers, then cross traffic in the center of London. Chimps take up tool making in the wilds of Tanzania, at the same time that their captive brethren in Vancouver use files to pick the locks on their cage doors. The humans take particular note of unusual acts of cross-species compassion. But when a predatory bear shelters a stray puppy and dolphins nurse a wounded shark, the humans only see the cradling gestures and remain deaf to the traditional songs. Uplift is what the humans call this. They would. They imagine every adoption of their behaviors to be an advancement. I see it otherwise as downdrift, the seepage of traits across species. And I, who am I? I'm an Archean, the most ancient creature on earth. My fossil remains are 3.8 billion years old. I hitched a ride on a comet and arrived from interstellar space while the earth was still young and uninhabited. No other life form was here before me, so you may all be my descendants. I have no face, no furry paws, no big eyes or fluffy tail. I'm a modest bit of genetic code, enclosed by a cell wall. It's hardly appealing. My individual cells are a living network, a gazillion tiny points spread over the surface of the earth, picking up information at every node. I can be in the cities, at the antipodes, in a rushing stream and a vile sinkhole all at the same time, seeing, watching, reporting on the animals' emerging activities but you will hear almost nothing from me about the humans. After all, they are a major source of this pollution.